Today, uh, I'll be showing you uh, how to make uh, this uh, simple ring using the uh, custom rail ring. There is a command called uh, custom rail ring in order to make this kind of a custom rail. Uh, there is a command in matrix 9. You have to go here and this is the option. This is uh, the um, the command you know that, that will be making the rail custom rails so i'll be teaching you today about how to make this kind of a twist simple ring um, you know um, with the custom rail okay let's get started you know I'm adding the, I may, I'm starting right now. Uh, new, click here and go to the ring, you know, just choose your ring size and put the stone, you know, uh, any stone that you want to make. Let's say, you know, you want to make uh, uh, we'll add 5 mm half a carat stone diamond um, half a carat Yeah, 5 mm, half a carat. Yeah. So uh, we will move it up above the rail. No, sorry. Just, uh, uh, it's just choose, expand the window. So just keep it little bit above the, like 1 mm or 1 or 2 mm above the. Uh, the ring rail okay so i'm going i'm clicking here i'm right now clicking the middle mouse button and uh, here we'll get a pop-up screen like this saying that you know um use um bezel we'll use bezel so when you when you click on it make sure to click this so that you get this um around you know if you don't have this It'll be it'll be coming above uh, below the girdle, you know, coming below the ring. You have to enable this; it'll it'll cut automatically. Okay, so we are having the um, stone on the bezel right now. So I'm right-clicking the mouse. So now we have this. We have the stone. Now we need to make that around it. So we what we do? We go here. We go to the tools. Click on this custom rail. Once you click on it, you have to physically raise it like that. I don't know why. Um, it should automatically come. It's not coming in Matrix. I hope uh, Matrix people get noticed, and then in the future software updates, they do that. And uh, I'm, I'm I'm clicking this. So make sure snapping is on, you know, so that it should snap on the end. Go here to all here. So now we have a uh, rail that is flat bottom. Let's make sure you click this also. And then Now we have this rail created. Now I had to put a, put a better control point and then I made the ring. Make rail. Just click on the thing, the curve that you made right now. Make ring. Now if you go to the perspective, the, the, the rail ring is made. 
So this is the um, rail. Okay, so now what you have to do is you have to go here, add a profile. Profile placer. So the profile is placed. So let's make it here three mm. The value here three mm. Two point five mm. And then click here add and then come and grab that point so there you go make sure the record history is on these two buttons should be on these two buttons should be off so we are here now we will make some adjustments here make it smaller so that barely touches the uh, bezel now we are going to sweep come here sweep surface sweep one select rail this is the rail this is the cross sections Super, it comes, it came very nice. Okay, suppose if you want to adjust uh, these, you know, like you can adjust this, you know, um, you can select it, you can move it a little bit, and then it will keep moving. Suppose if you want to adjust this control points, you have to just go to, go to the ghost view. Click the control point and click here, and you can adjust this control point directly also. And it will be the things will go stop. I am adjusting the control points inside the curve so it will be prompt see you can adjust like that then right click on it this press escape then it's done now what I'm going to do is now it looks okay so I'm going to go shade it. So see, it looks okay now. Looks okay. So what I'm going to do now is um, going to tools go here and click this profile and go here. I'm going to cap it. So we can use this cap. So that will be capped. Um, in a you know a beautiful way matrix has a lot of uh, good things that you know you can uh, use matrix run on top of rhino so if you want to use rhino uh, for all this then you have to manually make them for all these uh, things if you use have matrix then you have inbuilt builders that will eventually make the work a lot faster like I do right now huh? So let me cap this. Cap it. Okay. Oh, I cap it. History is broken. No problem. That's okay. So we have this right now. So this cap. So boolean this. Boolean, boolean union. So that becomes a one part. So what we do now? Take this. Rotate. Click rotate. Copy. Yes center of rotation zero so click here I'm holding the shift key and click here then you know that's it
I'm pressing the escape key. So here you have this ring. So what we do right now is very simple. Sweep. Yeah, or you can type the command or you can go to surface. Sweep. Select the rail and click here. This is the profile. Boom. It, it becomes a one full circle. So what you do right now, you click this, this, this boolean union so it has become one single part okay so that's it uh, the ring is made and uh, if you have any questions or if you have any special designs that you want to make just uh, leave me a command a command a comment and uh, i'll be able to uh, give you uh, the make the designs or you can send me an email and then i'll make the design i'll show you how that designs are made so um, that's it. Um, it's good. It, it is. It is very simple, easy, and it's it's a universal ring that everybody loved to make it. Thank you so much, and then uh, please like and subscribe my channel. We put in a lot of time creating it, creating content on Matrix and Rhino, uh, so that all the jewelers can learn the software and make the models at your place. We do printing. 3d printing and we do uh, teaching in thailand bangkok uh, if you're uh, seeing this from bangkok thailand if you'd like to learn contact us via thaicatservices.com thank you so much